sound, and at the same time also aware of all the complexities, all of the myriads of things that appear to us. We notice them, see them as they appear, as well as as they are, and that realization, and that then is realization. To be in that way is to um, uh, arrive at a state of mind which is uh, perfect because there's no flaw. Everything that is uh, of a negative and unwholesome character has disappeared uh, in negative emotions, pride, envy, framing, aggression, and so forth. They have disappeared. And uh, also the subtle um, obscurations of the mind, the cognitive obscurations, they have disappeared as well. So in other words, everything that is unclean, uh, so to speak, in terms of the mind, everything that is polluting the mind has disappeared. And when the mind is pure in that way, then it is uh, also uh, rich, tremendously rich, with uh, qualities of wisdom, of love, and of power. Uh, to be in that way is uh, an infinitely powerful way of being infinitely compassionate and infinitely uh, wise. Um, so in other words, uh, realization is a flawless state, and it is also uh, a state that is uh, replete with all of the excellent qualities, inconceivably great and noble qualities. Because a lot of the things that uh, 
religious people do, Buddhists will do as well. And uh, the sense of skillful means in Buddhism, we can say that uh, to a great extent it is the same uh, with other religions, considering in this way Buddhism to be a religion. That, uh, one is encouraged to be uh, generous, to be disciplined, to be uh, patient, to be uh, diligent, and so on. Those um, are virtues that are generally uh, cherished in, in religions. And um, on the other hand, uh, the, uh, concentration, meditation, and uh, insight, those most likely also other religions will uh, we will consider virtues to be concentrated and can develop insight and wisdom. But uh, in Buddhism, uh, this is like the crucial issue. Uh, this is something that is considered uh, extremely important uh, meditation and as well as uh, insight, concentrated mind. And perhaps in terms of just stabilizing the mind and developing concentration, there's a, again a whole lot of similarity with uh, other religions, but when it comes to insight, that's perhaps the, uh, where there is a, a marked difference. Also, uh, the Buddhist uh, teaching uh, says that all sentient beings, meaning not just human beings, but anything uh, that is uh, sentient, is by nature uh, pure and perfect. The fundamental condition of any living creature is um, flawless and uh, that flawless nature uh, of any sentient being can become uh, evident and obvious but uh, otherwise it remains unobvious and covered by temporary stains and temporary uh, obscurations. Once those uh, obscurations fall away then the pure and perfect condition the original condition is uh, evident just as it is. So it's like a, a jewel which remains as it is, a very valuable, precious jewel, but it can be lost in, in a pile of garbage and then it will not be clear uh, what we have before us. However, even when it's lost in the garbage pile, we can find it in the garbage, take it out and wash it, and then uh, it's clear what we, what we have there, a priceless jewel. And then in Buddhism there's also talk about liberation. And what is the liberation? Liberation from what? Liberation is uh, from negative mind states and uh, the experience of delusion. Whenever one is free from negative states of mind and whenever there is no delusion in the mind, when the mind is no longer uh, confused as to the nature of things, then there is liberation. Also, to be a human being is uh, to be in a very special situation because while all sentient beings are pure and perfect in terms of their basic nature, uh, it is very hard to recognize that that is the case unless one is a, a human being. And so human life is considered uh, very special. 
And also, uh, indeed, all conditioned things, all that is produced by causes and conditions, is uh, impermanent. This is uh, just a fact, this impermanence of things. Uh, whether the Buddha says that that is how it is, or whether he doesn't, uh, it remains the case. It is something that we also know from our own experience. Whatever we uh, get together, sooner or later it will run out. Whatever we, whatever we build, whatever we construct, sooner or later it will fall. Whatever comes together, whoever comes together, come together, um, sooner or later there will be part. Like this meeting here is going to disperse. And, um, uh, all <coughs> beings, they take birth in basically four ways, uh, human beings, except under special circumstances, particular medical procedures, and human beings in general take birth to the womb. So the other ways of being born would be to be born from an egg, to be born through uh, heat, or to be born uh, instantaneously. And we are then born. We come into the world being born into it and then we remain for some time. In other words, we have a lifespan and this means that there's a certain amount of years perhaps that we are going to, to live. And there's an average expectation as well uh, as to the life of a human being. Compared to certain sentient beings, it's a long life that a human has. Compared to others, it's a short life. But no one is born and just lives on forever. Uh, life is not some lasting state. Um, as we grow older, then we age and we become more prone to being sick. And in the end, all of this then leads us to death. Death uh, is a very unpleasant topic, uh, but it's uh, something that we all have to face. And when we have to face death, it's also uh, an experience of having to separate from everything and everyone. I know lack of work is not good. Lack of work is not good. So even I talk this, even I talk back, people don't want to know. So never die. 
we wish to never die. But so that you say that everybody will be in place. So what to do that time? Detachment is very good. Whatever believer we are, never mind. All believer is good. Each, whatever you believe, for you could that. Huh? So, very, religion is very big. Whatever you believe, that will be your, your helper. That will help you heal. The point is, sooner or later, we need to stay in Buddha, in Buddha, Buddha Dharma. What Buddha teach is the how to deal with life. When we are alive, how to do it. If we are sick, how to do it. If we are sad, how to do it. If we are angry, how to do it. If we are depression, depressed. You will become very uh, success. You are very down. You will become old age. You will be sick. Finally, if, if death is come, how to Death is come. Very important. Detachment. No fear. Relax. This is the track. This is the journey. That is very important. If anybody knows meditation, if anybody knows meditation, that is the number one uh, helpful thing. Also, how to live, how to live is very important. We need to live healthy and happy. Healthy, happy, both based on no mental stress. If we have so much stress, it will not become happy. If we're not happy, we're not happy. So what to, what brings? No stress. We really need to be more mentally, more mentally quite awake, alert, sharp, sharp. Twenty. We need to live our lives like that. Really awake from one moment to the next, keenly awake. Very accepted, full of love. Okay. So, so we need to live like that. Uh, we need to be so clean and awake all the time. And uh, naturally full of love and, and uh, affection. And uh, just so, so joyful, so happy. And when we things go down, we need to bring them to up. If things go up, we need to bring down. This goal is problem. If things go down, we become worried, sad. It's not. I'm I'm capable. I want to get up. And it become more success. You can encourage. You can. Oh, because I have a little bit of Physically, mentally, you are your intelligent and shape. Very important. Strength and self-confidence is very important. And really giving yourself confidence. Yeah, but uh, on the other hand, if things work out well for us, like we become wealthy and powerful in the world, if we then become arrogant, that's a huge problem. They take it away. Oh, this is. Never know how long it is. My name, my time. Now, this is my good opportunity. I love to help and serve. I'm human. I'm hard. I know. Some has even no daily expenses. Some even that time such uh, 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 shortage of medicine. Uh, 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 shortage of money for medicine. I'm shortage. So when I in the park, I see this kind of things. It hurts my mind so much. 
the sun had more than they need, much more than they need. And some have they really died like like only three four thousand, no three four hundred U.S. dollar shortage, three four hundred U.S. dollar shortage at times. Dying. How much people will wear? How much people will have? So that is this. I also encourage a reconstruction if any of you any of you like to have. So that is very helpful. Mm -hmm. We have a human. We need we need help to have some are very short. And uh, and or some of this is not only the part in America, in Europe, everywhere. That's why people suffer, people facing something. There's something from this. From this. So I'm saying whoever has, you know, success. The success is very important. And they share. Of course you cannot share 50%, 5%. 5% is is have a lot. So please keep these things. And I think uh, comments, you know. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we will now have the Q&A uh, session, but due to time constraint, we will limit to only two questions. Yes. I have the two questions. <laughs> <laughs> this is Malaysia. <laughs> Just now you mentioned about Dharma. From what I read, Dharma has two sides. The one part is Dharma style with a capital D which is the teachings of the Buddha. Can you give me your opinion? What is the Dharma spelled with a small name? Dharma has not only two names, ten names. So that is, since in Buddha Dharma, it is say Buddha Dharma is religion, no right. It may say Buddha Dharma is common sense, no right. It may say Buddha Dharma is a philosophy, even the right. It may say Buddha Dharma is a fact, still not. The Dharma is so much, so much, so much more. But if we put it very simply, no to the opportunities, no danger soon, Talk about the Dharma with capital D, then that has uh, two aspects, the scripture, uh, which is contained in the receptacles of the teachings, the Chikitaka, or it is uh, realization, the training in discipline, concentration, and insight, which is the content of the uh, so it's scripture and realization. That is the chemistry. So what is the form of the Dharma? Just put it up to me. 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 Just put so in that case, uh, Dharma can also be understood as a reference to anything that can be known. So anything that is at all uh, conceivable or cognizable is a Dharma. And there are many things, right, that we can know and uh, that we can come to be aware of. And uh, when that uh, Buddhism is concerned with knowledge of everything, that's nothing that is not interesting, so to speak. Uh, so all of samsara, all of nirvana, and the past uh, is the topic for under investigation. E example. Hands. Example. Smell. Is smell a sport? I ask you this question to you. <laughs> smell. Yeah. Is smell as form? 
No phone. No phone? No phone? No phone. No phone. No phone. So what do you see many? <laughs> what do you see many? That is phone. Smell his phones. Smell his smells. Smell his case. Sound his form. Sound has sound his smell. Sound has taste. <laughs> so, so Dharma is very proud. If you like to, if you like to know Dharma, at least come to manage to respect it at least nine years. <laughs> Thank you very much. Buddhism is said to be philosophy way of life and so many things. But I have read that Buddhism is not a religion in a true sense. Why? Because Buddhism, when you talk about religion, is actually a belief. And in Buddhism, there is only one belief, and that is Vipana. It's something like heaven. Is it true? Can you please comment? But Buddhism is not believed. Believe what? But what one belief is never enough. So that is become believe what? Con construction. Contradiction. What you say is con contradiction. You contradiction. You say is, I I know Buddhism is not religion. Buddhism is based on not belief. But Buddhist believe one thing is never enough. Believe what? Heaven. Then you believe heaven. Yes and no. Yes and no. If you want to know a little bit, say a lot. Short, very short, 99, so you can answer this is big subject. Good, good, good question. Last question, last question. It's related to the first question about uh, the Dharma, the capital D, the small D. Actually, when I read, sometimes I notice the difference in spelling. Why is no <laughs> Uh, uh, one is uh, D-H-A-M-M-A, the other one is D-H-A-R-M-A. Uh, is there any difference or is it just a spelling thing? Different language. One is Pali, one is in Sanskrit. Like in Sanskrit, we make called Dharma. In Pali, Dhamma. Dhamma, Sarana, Gachami, Dhamma, Sarana, so dharma, dhamma, just pronunciation. China has different language. China has different language. Similar. Anyway, thank you. I'm sorry.